The next Seven Star Terror Raid event featuring Pikachu will be going live in a little under two days time. In today's video, we're going to cover all of the best builds you can take in to beat this Terror Raid and form this event in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So the next 7 star terror raid featuring Pikachu will be going live on the 24th of February and running over the weekend which will be coming to an end at midnight on the 27th of February as we say farewell to Pokemon Day for another year. Now as we know with the 7 star terror raid events they are pretty difficult. They will appear in your game, you're going to be able to catch it once in your game and cover all of the details as and when the event does launch. But if we take a closer look at Pikachu we can have a look at what we potentially can expect to see from this Pokemon when it does appear in these events. We know we'll have the Water Terror type, giving it really only a weakness to Grass type Pokemon. The big question marks for me are, is it gonna have that Lightning Rod ability that it does have access to, which is gonna make it a lot more difficult than if it does have that Static ability, which is a regular ability, meaning if it does have Static, you're gonna have a way easier time taking in a bunch more electric Pokemon that will be able to hit it for super effective damage. Obviously with the lightning rod ability, it will be immune to any electric type attacks and this is what makes me think it will have the lightning rod ability there. Now another big question mark over this event is whether or not this Pikachu is gonna have a held item. None of the other seven star terror raid events have had held items going into their respected events, but Pikachu being a middle stage evolution doesn't have the highest stats. So it's gonna need a buff somewhere along along the line and it does make sense that it holds its signature item the light ball now whenever Pikachu is holding the light ball its special attack and attack stats are doubled so it gives it a huge buff to its offensive output meaning it is a lot more threatening on the field now whether or not we'll see the light ball is a question again and if it is you can make adjustments that we'll cover in this video of course being a seven star terror raid it will be level 100 it does have a base speed of 90 so it's pretty fast now looking at other terror raids in the game which feature Pikachu you can see there are some moves tied to all of them including Raichu. Nuzzle is going to be one of those it is a disruptive move it does paralyze you as well as doing a little bit of damage. Discharge is another common attack that we do see on Pikachu and Volt Tackle is something I personally think we will definitely see on this Pikachu. Volt Tackle is its signature attack it is a very strong physical electric type in attack so it could make a lot of sense on this Pikachu. Surf as well it probably will be on this set it kind of goes along with the terror typing perfectly. Iron Tail is a signature attack you know they love it in the anime series so it is on the three star terror raids that we see the Pikachu in the game already so it would make sense that it does have Iron Tail and it does make it a little bit more difficult to bring some Pokemon into these matchups. Fly is an option I guess if we're going to go along with the surfing Pikachu the flying Pikachu you fly could be an option and could cause a few issues if we are bringing predominantly grass types that we're relying on quite heavily in this matchup and then grass knot and trailblaze are the other options that give it coverage grass coverage in particular if you are thinking about bringing things like gastrodon and quagsire that could be a good matchup overall with their ground typing and water absorb abilities but if there is the presence of grass knot and trailblaze these grass type moves are gonna hit you for four times super effective damage making that matchup pretty Pretty difficult. Now if you look at the setup options Pikachu has it does have access to electric terrain this could be one of those options that we see it use on its first turn before the terror it actually begins. Nasty Plot is a way for it to boost its offensive output, giving a special attack boost by two stages. Rain Dance complements the terror typing of water and that surf attack that it could potentially have. And Fake Tears is something that will disrupt our side of the field by lowering our special defense by two stages. So these are pretty much the best options I think Pikachu will have and which ones it will have going into this Terror Raider up in the air. I would probably say Rain Dance, Electric Terrain make a lot of sense. They boost both of its electric and then water type attacks respectively when they are out on the field. But other than that, Pikachu doesn't really have anything else that we would need to be worrying about. I could see definitely Nuzzle, Volt Tackle, Surf, Iron Tail, and then potentially Electric Terrain and then the Rain Dance. But that's not to say that we won't see the nasty plot as well which is something that we have to consider within these builds also just to mention as well that the hp stat just to give you an idea obviously going in against seven star terror raids their hp is multiplied 
by 30. So the damage we're going to have to do to this Pikachu to knock it out is 6,330 HP points. So that is what you're going to look at to knock it out. And a little bit like the Greninja Raid, I could see the Pikachu throwing its shield up pretty soon or even maybe even at the start of the battle just to give it an extra buff. So don't be surprised if we see maybe it set up the Rain Dance or the Electric Terrain turn one and then its shield go automatically up to give it that extra buff that it's going to need through the rest of the battle. And I could be wrong, of course, but now we'll take a look at the specific builds that we're gonna look at for this Terror Raid. I'm gonna start off with my favorite one that I put together and I think is gonna be really good going into this particular raid against Pikachu, and that is Obolivia. So Obolivia is a grass and normal type, got that grass type that is gonna resist the water, gonna resist the electric type attacks, and there's no real threat of anything like an ice type attack coming out from the Pikachu that we'd have to worry about. Like I've mentioned in the preview of Pikachu, the the only thing that we would maybe have to worry about a little bit is going to be that fly, but whether or not it's there, I don't think it will be, to be honest. Covered Cloak is the item of choice on this. We don't want to get paralyzed from the nuzzle, so that will prevent that, and that is going to be enough to really keep us in the game as well. And because we've got recovery, I don't think we require anything like Shell Bell and just not being paralyzed, not losing turns from fully paralysis. That gives us enough reason to use the Covert Clock in this situation. So the moveset that we have is Sap Strength, Sunny Day, Growth, and Energy Ball. Sap Strength is a really nice move as well. If we are seeing a mixed Pikachu like I expect us to see, uh, it is going to reduce that attacking stat every time we use it on Pikachu by one stage as well as recovering the health on our Pokemon by the amount of attack points that the Pikachu does have. So it should give us good HP restoring. We've got Sunny Day as well, which is going to interact on boosting our stats that little bit further and also disrupting the Rain Dance if Pikachu does have access to it. If Pikachu doesn't have Rain Dance, then it makes it a lot easier for us because we don't have to worry about our sun getting taken off the field. But Sunny Day going to play in conjunction really nicely with Growth. Growth gives us a boost in special attack and attack by one stage but if it is sunny on the field you get a two times boost to both your attack and special attack every time you use it cutting down the amount of turns that you're going to need to use it to boost and max out your attacking stats energy ball is the main attacking option we're going for because it does have the secondary effect of long special defense which just increases our damage output overall and probably a better more reliable option than something like giga drain when we don't really need to worry about the recovery so much anyway we've got seed saw which is such a big ability because if the pikachu does have electric terrain means anytime we take a physical attack then the seed saw activates we get the grassy terrain on the field which not only boosts our energy ball it gives us a line of recovery as well so all in all i feel like our bolivia is going to be a really good option for you a consistent one for us to take into this particular raid. Next up, we have Leafeon, another grass type. It makes sense to take grass types into these raids because I do worry a lot about the lightning rod ability. So relying on electric type attacks might not be the best idea. Again, go over, going for the COVID Club because we've got a line of recovery on the Leafeon, which you'll see in a minute. And again, it just stops us being paralyzed from the nuzzle if we're holding that item. So Leafeon level 100, Grass Terror typing here, Covered Clock, the held item. With an Adamant Nature, an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack. The rest was just dumped in Special Defense. And a moveset of Synthesis, Tickle, Sword Stance, and Leaf Blade. We've got the Leaf Guard ability there, but the ability itself doesn't really make too much difference on this set. But the pr basic premise of this set is going to be getting your Sword Stance up three times. Use Tickle a couple of times. Uh, Tickle works by lowering the attack and defense stat by one stage on the opposing target. So you're going to be able to reduce the defensive stat on the Pikachu. Um, and then you can use Synthesis when required to heal up your health. And then Leaf Blade, which has a high critical hit rate as well playing off that boosted attack stat from the sword stances and you're going to be doing a lot of damage with Leafeon. I really think a nice option for you to rely on if you like Leafeon and you want to go into this raid with something a little bit different. The next grass type that we're going to feature today is going to be a Bomber Snot. Like one of my favorites I think and I did the calcs with the Bomber Snot and it's not too shabby. It's going to do a good job against this Pikachu. I'd say the one caveat to using this Pokemon is if Pikachu does have access to Iron Tail because that is going to be doing a lot of damage because of the ice type and on a bomber snow so for that reason alone if we do see iron tail you might want to rely a little bit more on the arbolivia or the leafy if you want to go down a grass type route but we've got the terra type in grass on the bomber snow shell bell because it gives us a line of recovery when we do hit the pikachu for big damage 
Then we have an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack, rest dumped in special defense. Move set, we've got Sword Stance, Leer, Aurora Veil, and Seed Bomb. So basic premise of this, turn one, when you've got the hill on the field, use that Aurora Veil. It's gonna give you a technically a reflect and a light screen support for you and the rest of your team for five turns. So gonna reduce the output from the Pikachu. And then you wanna go for those Sword Stances, get three of them up, max your attack out, use a couple of Leers if you've got room to, and then Seed Bomb away, which is going to do big, big damage to the Pikachu. And obviously with the Grass Terror typing as well that you've got on the Abomasnow, once you're Terrasalized, you're going to be able to do big damage every turn to the Water Terror typing Pikachu. And it's also going to resist the Electric type and Water type attacks. It's going to tend to throw out at you with that Snow Warning ability. So that is the Abomasnow in a nutshell. And then the other grass type that we will feature is Meow Skorada as well. The grass and dark starter Pokemon, grass terror typing on it. We've given the item Life Orb just for increasing the attacking power on this thing when we do click into an attack. And a move set of knockoff, fake tears, nasty plot, and frenzy pant. So the basic idea around this Meow Skorada is with knockoff in particular, if the Pikachu is holding a light bulb. Now, this is just theoretical at this point. Nothing's been confirmed. If it is holding the light ball knockoff, it's going to be key in reducing the attack damage that the Pikachu can do. You can remove that item turn one, and it's only going to be hitting as half as hard as it normally would be after that item has been removed. Fake Tears Nasty Plot kind of makes sense. Nasty Plot up three times, boost your special attack up as much as you can. Fake Tears reduce Pikachu's special defense by two stages, and then hit it with a Frenzy Plant, which is a base 150. 50 grass type attack it does have a cost though it comes at a recharge turn after you've used it but because you're doing so much damage and if you are able to get three nasty plots up and then three fake tears off and with the life orb stacking on top of that i would say you're probably in a position where you're going to pick up the one shot onto the pikachu with the frenzy plant especially if you've got a chair or help and hand support around you ev spread on the meow Skorada, pretty straightforward 252 hp 252 special attack rest dumped in special defense and the overgrow ability here now with the grass types out the way we'll get into more interesting builds if you want to have a little bit more fun with this raid over the weekend now the first pick is farigaraf i love this pokemon normal and psychic typing with a terra electric typing so it might take a little bit of work to get this particular build done in game but i think a really good one and it'll be a lot of fun when you get this going in game item shell bell there and then we have a move set of skill swap nasty plot sunny day and thunderbolt now we are building this off the presumption that pikachu is going to have the lightning rod ability turn one you are going to skill swap making you completely immune to any of its electric type attacks but then you can set up your sunny day that's going to reduce the damage from the water type attacks that are coming out from the pikachu you and then nasty plot up three times to boost your special attack up and then start thunderbolting away without a worry in the world about it having lightning rod or being immune to any sort of electric type attacks because of that lightning rod being on you and not on them so the av spread on this farigaraf this was built for competitive vgc player but it translates into this red den pretty nicely you've got a lot of special defense bulk in here you've got 244 hp 28 defense 76 special attack 156 special defense and then the rest is just dumped in speed although it won't make any difference on this particular Fergaraf because we've got a quiet nature six speed IV so you don't need to build it exactly the same but the EV spread for the defense the special attack and HP will all make sense and this particular spread will be linked down in the description along with everything else if you'd like to take a closer look at these after the video for your own builds and the next one the next fun one is going to be Electros and you might be thinking yeah well you've been talking about lightning rod this whole video why are you bringing an electric type to this battle well electros is a good pokemon actually if we look at the move set that we're going to give it, it has the terra typing electric shell bell is the item it is level 100 it is hyper trained as well and the move set is gastro acid acid spray sunny day and thunderbolt so gastro acid when it does make contact with an opposing pokemon it will nullify their ability for the rest of the time that they're on the battlefield so the lightning rod will not be in effect you don't need to worry about it you can then hit it with your super effective electric type attacks 
Acid Spray is going to reduce its special defense by two stages. Sunny Day going to reduce the damage from those water type attacks. Thunderbolt going to be your main attacking option with the terror typing as well. Going to boost that even further when you do Terrastalize. Levitate's the only ability of option that we've got on there. EV spread, we've got a Modest Nature and 252 HP, 252 special attack. And just some bonus options to mention. Clod Sire, I haven't included in the main builds because I just feel like its damage output is a bit underwhelming. But it is a very good support Pokemon against this Pikachu. For see with this water absorbability and its part ground typing, it will have a immunity to all of the electric and water type attacks that come out of the Pikachu and can be a very good support Pokemon. We went for the leftovers on this and a move set of Recover, Acid Spray, Stockpile and Earth Power and an EV spread of 252 HP and 252 Defense with a sassy nature. There's a water absorb there. Basic premise is to support your partnering Pokemon online in particular with the Acid Spray reducing special defense on the target Pokemon by two stages. Stockpile gives you the ability to boost your own defenses and earth power just gives you a way to hit for a decent ish damage and like i say i just think its overall damage output is a little bit underwhelming to be a solo build pokemon now another pokemon to mention is iron hands i think this will be actually really good if the pikachu doesn't have the lightning rod ability you can give it the terror type of electric citrus berry and go with the belly drum set obviously you'll be relying a bit more on thunder punch as its main damaging output here but you can always then rely on drain punch to give you some health recovery through this terror raid with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack and an adamant nature and again it goes the same for belly bolt as well which i do feel like would be good going into this raid if the pikachu doesn't have lightning rod with that electric terror typing shell bell for recovery there and then slack off thunder wave which can be changed in particular to this raid event for something like reflect or light screen if you like there acid spray is again just gonna reduce the special defense on the pikachu and discharge gonna be your main attacking option with electromorphosis as the ability and hp and special attack with 252 ev investment and a modest nature and also if you would like a little bit more fun going into this raid event this weekend if you've got a few friends that you would like to go online with and do this raid super quickly i've put together this team build which is gonna include Mariadon as the main attacking option here. You've got it at level 100, Modest Nature with the Hadron Drive ability, 252 HP, 252 Special Attack and 4 Special Defense, moveset of Calm Mind, Metal Sound, Taunt and Electro Drift. Then pairing it up with Electros, you're gonna need one of these in your party. The main thing that you're gonna want from the Electros is that Gastro Acid, Acid Spray and Sunny Day. Then you wanna pair these two up with two Clod Sires. Recover, Acid Spray, Helping Hand and mud slap honestly mud slap is just a filler so you could put anything in that last slot for clod sire uh, sassy nature water absorb 252 hp 252 defense and four special defense the basic premise against the pikachu is turn one your maridon is going to go calm mind gastro acid on the electros which will nullify the lightning rod ability on the pikachu whilst both clod sires go for acid spray the next turn you're going to go for another calm mind with maridon and acid spray with electros while one of the clod sire attacks cheers and one goes for a defense cheer and then turn three which should be the last turn in this raid and i will test this when the event goes live you electro drift with your mariadon then you go for either a heal cheer if required with electros or sunny day and then helping hand with both your clod size which should remove the pikachu from the battle so just something fun i thought i'd add in for this video especially if you've got a few friends that you want to go into these raid events with have an easy time going through this raid event to farm potentially some really good item drops. Uh, they are the options that we've got today and our Bolivia is my Pokemon of choice. I would say it's going to be a really fun one going into this event, but hopefully I've given you some ideas that are going to be really beneficial for you going into this seven star raid event over the weekend. Of course, I'll do a bunch of testing as soon as the event goes live and I will put up another video saying what the best and most consistent build for this event to get it and then farm for all of the items because I have a feeling that the item drops for this particular event are going to be probably better than the other seven star terror raid events that we've had but if you've enjoyed today's video please drop a like it really goes a long way to help with the algorithm do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content you want to keep up with that other scarlet and violet content that we do here on the channel thank you so much for tuning in take care of yourselves and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye, -bye.